Michael McCarron admits he wasn't ready to play in the Ontario Hockey League when he first laced up his skates with the London Knights. I just didn't think I was playing up to my ability and I just, like I said, I wasn't really ready with all the speed and how many games. I've never played that many games in a year and like back-to-back -back games, like it's, it's tough to, to get used to and um, I think it just took me a little bit extra time to get used to. But recently, the draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens has shown flashes of why he was selected with the 25th overall pick last June. We try to get everybody to have improvements no matter where you come in at. And uh, his first year in the OHL, it's, it's tough. You have to feel your way out a little bit. And, uh, you know, he had kind of had a whirlwind summer. So it's, uh, you know, he's gotten a lot better shape. You know, he's starting to figure out uh, exactly what he is. And, uh, it's just showing, it's showing on the ice and on the score sheet. Coming into the OHL as a rookie takes any player some time to adjust. But the biggest change for the six foot six forward that seemed to help him turn the corner was a move from the wing to center. I think in the last month, um, ever started ever since I started playing center, you know, uh, my game's kind of turned around, and um, I don't know if that's me going to center, if I'm just kind of figuring out the game. Um, like I said earlier in the season, just trying to get better day by day, and um, I think it's starting finally pay off for me. It just happened by chance. We're, we're doing face-offs one practice and, and he was really good at it. So we thought maybe we'd give him a try and, and see how he was in a game. And his first game, you know, again, he was about 65%. So it uh, started off being face-offs and uh, turned into you know him uh, moving more and, and uh, he knows how to play defensively. So it, uh, it's one of those things he just kind of slid into unexpected and, and he's done very well with it. McCarron is currently riding a four-game point streak, scoring four goals and adding two assists all since being paired up with Brett Walichka and Jamel Smith. I go in the corners and grind and uh, we got Smitty and Walichka with quite a bit of skill and um, we just try to get them to puck and, and they do, they, they put the goals home for me and uh, they also create some ice for me and get me the puck because of how skilled they are. And we got some good chemistry going as, uh, as of late and um, you know, I uh, credit the line mates there for, uh, for stepping in and playing well and uh, you know, things just go well sometimes when, when you're working hard and uh, obviously that happened. The Canadiens draft pick has also been receiving praise for his defensive zone coverage, enough to even get him some time on the penalty kill. Yeah, you know what, I think it uh, shows that they kind of trust me now and um, that I'm good defensively and um, it's always good when you know the coaches uh, have, have their trust in you. And if McCarron can keep improving his game in both the offensive and defensive zones, the Canadiens may take a longer look at their prospect during next year's training camp. Reporting for Rogers TV, I'm Jeremy Parking.